Hey guys, what is going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV and welcome to an all new episode. Finally, he is back. Rusty Rogers here on MLB 14, the show on the PS4, this time in a Yankees uniform. That is right, he got called up to the MLB. And I have to say, guys, my Elgato absolutely hates this series. So you know how um, the whole reason why the series is delayed is because I recorded his debut and everything. It was awesome. And then after I was done, the file got corrupted. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I got over it. So I'm just going to record some gameplay. And it literally like cuts out the first like five minutes. So that's why you're seeing the gameplay start off right away. So I, I don't know why it happens sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes it does. So either way. Rusty is here, and he is with the Yankees, looking good in the pinstripes as he is um, not getting his first base hit you guys are seeing. So he's already got a couple of base hits. He's hitting like two-something, but uh, he's looking good in the field. You see there, he's throwing a double play and, or starting it at least, to get 12, 12 points for that um, fielding opportunity. So here he comes in the bottom of the six. The Yankees have a 3-2 lead. And the Yankees are actually doing very good, so that is good. Um, but what's not good is the sliders. Rusty cannot cannot locate the sliders, guys. Sliders are honestly my biggest weakness. Out of all the off-speed pitches, that is the hardest to hit. I don't know why. It's just it's just straight up hard to locate, and it's hard to to when you see a pitch, it's just hard to like you don't just think oh slider, you just think. I don't know it, it just the way I see it in my mind is just it's very hard and it's like super god I don't even know it's just hard to find and it's hard to hit it's just everything so hopefully we don't get that in this at bat bottom of the ninth chance to win it with a base hit and he is hitting this one and he's grinding out here to third so almost a walk off well not really almost uh, got on base there but he doesn't and as a result we're going to the bottom of the 11th Runner on first, two outs, 0-2 pitch, slider. Oh my goodness. I hate those things. I'll strike out on any other pitch but a slider. I hate sliders so much. 14th inning now. This is a long game. I'm trying to turn this double play, and we can't. I don't know why I didn't throw it there. I think I tried to, but for a reason it didn't throw. So we're in the 14th, bottom of the 14th now. No one on, two outs, 1-0 pitch to Rusty. And he is hitting this one into right field. Almost robbed over there at the second baseman. But um, that's the first hit you guys are seeing. It's not his first career base hit because I know the file got corrupted. But it's his first hit you guys are seeing in the Yankees uniform, which is pretty awesome. He's an 80 overall, if you're wondering, as he gets a nice throw there. The, f uh, the fielding is decent. The reaction is decent. None of his stats are like amazing or anything, even though he's an 80 overall. As we're in the 17th inning now, trying to turn this double play, and oh, that was close. I thought he got that. I was about to say that was sexy, but then the uh, throw was high. And the runner goes to second. 17th inning now. Runner advances to second on the steal. Another chance to win it, but another slider. Gosh, that's like all they're throwing to me is sliders. And I get into so many 0-2 counts, and I cannot hit the slider. 19th inning. We have played more than two games, folks. 3-3 three, three, and another slider. I don't know what I... They fool me every time. I literally need to just take like half an hour and just practice hitting sliders. I And I try to locate them and I can't locate them. It's just... It's it's annoying. We go one for nine in that. The Rays end up winning this one 6-3. to three. And I don't even know what to think of that game. We played more than two games... And we lose, and he goes one for nine. I don't even know what to say about that one. But regardless, we're moving on to the series against Baltimore. Still in New York as Rusty's in the field. He can't get it. He's going to be the cutoff man here as the runner. I think is Adam Jones is rounding third. He's going to go home. Rusty's going to try to throw him out. It's a good throw, but it's safe. It wasn't in time. Wow, I thought he got Jones. Or it wasn't Adam Jones is the one that hit it, my bad. And I really thought Rusty had that one, guys. I really did. So here comes Rusty hitting 232. Not too bad with a homer. Somehow he's hit a homer. We didn't see it. We're losing one nothing, obviously. No one on. One out. 1-0 pitch is hits. Is this a gapper? 
Or is it gone? Ah, oh, it's a gapper. Off the wall, Rusty's gonna try to turn this into a triple. Here he comes. The throw is good. And he's out. They call him out. Wow. We're gonna take a look at this again. This was pretty close. We'll see here at the replay. This one goes off the wall. A very nice throw from the right fielder to the cutoff man and then over to third. And that was very close. I don't know. His foot looks like it's on the bag there and the tag is not there. Man, that was close. Maybe that should have been safe. He'll get the double, but maybe he should have got the triple. So he'll come back up to the plate here in the bottom of the fourth. No one on, no one out. Leading off the inning and the 0-2 pitch is coming. And it is hit into left. Pretty decent contact, but it's going to be caught over there. So uh, no cigar for Rusty. This will get 12 points for the at-bat. But um, yeah, if he could just avoid these sliders, then he should be good. And also doing his thing in the field is also what he wants to do. Again, his stats aren't amazing. Even though he's an 80 overall, they're just kind of average. His throwing or his arm strength is what I need to improve on the most. You see a lot of throws being low. His accuracy is decent. I can improve that too. That would help. But um, a lot of his throws are just barely making it there in time. They're not that hard. And even the runners that aren't that fast are um, almost beating them out. So here's a base hit in right for Rusty. That's good to see. As he goes one for, f one for nine in the game before. Now he has uh, two hits in this one. I'll go two for four with a double as the Yankees beat the Orioles four to three. So Rusty is just settling nicely into here, in, into New York here and his MLB career starting it off. And we will travel into Canada north of the border in Toronto against the Blue Jays. And I think I started saying this, but I'm really glad that I'm on a good team right now. The Yankees are in first place. We are fighting for the playoffs here in the last month of the season, by the way. This is the month of August, or sorry, the month of September. And, um... He is looking very good. Then he gets a base hit there past Jose Reyes into left. So that's good. And the Yankees look like they're going to make the playoffs. They have like a seven-game lead over the Red Sox for first in the AL East. And um, if all goes well, we should clinch and we should make the playoffs. So hopefully we can do that. That'll be exciting to play in the playoffs with a month of MLB experience behind us. As we're in Toronto facing... R.A. Dickey, and it's tough to get some hits. I don't even know if that was him that we just hit off of. Um, but we grind out there, only get two points for the at-bat. We're in the bottom of the fifth now, We're losing 4-1, to one, but that's not going to stop Rusty from fielding it nicely. You see, there's just the arm strength really isn't there. Um, it's it's enough, like, but it's, it's cutting it too close, you know? There's times when, like I said, runners who aren't even that fast are almost beating out his throws, so... Um, he'll get everyone out. It's just a matter of how by how much so you'd like to improve on that this one I remember this at bat this at bat. We broke our bat like three times and on the third one We don't get a base hit, but we beat out the throw on the fielder's choice and we get on base 11th inning now Wow two long games one of them was 19 innings. This one's 11 We'll see how long it goes with a chance to take the lead with the runner in second But what do you know strikeout on the slider? Wow Three points for the at-bat. Redmond gets the best of Rusty. And he's back in the field. 15th inning. We're winning now. 6-4. We took the lead. Hopefully we can end it here. And we do. So nice job there. Seven points for the fielding opportunity. We win the game. And uh, we'll take this one in extras, unlike the last one, against the Rays. So Joe Girardi celebrating as the Yanks win 6-4 over the Blue Jays. And to end things off, the second to last game of the season is in Baltimore against the Orioles, who have lost 91 games as it's tied 1-1 here in the bottom of the third. Rusty in the field, takes his time, throws just barely enough, again, with that arm strength. But he gets him. That's all that matters. Eight points for that fielding opportunity. Bottom four, runner on first, trying to make this double play, and oh, that was sexy. This time the throw is not high, and Rusty's looking mighty good in his spot at short. They had him at second for a while, but then they moved him to short, which is where we want him to be. That's his position. Again, the replacement for Derek Jeter, the future. He's still a C potential, though. Um, they put me as that since I chose the team and all that. As he gets some good wood here on this one into right, but it's going to be caught, and he's once again retired. He'll only get one point for that at bat. That's not good. We're losing now 3-1 to one here in the top of the eighth. No one out. Runner on first. Now second. 1-0 pitch. He is hits in front of home plate. Can he beat it out? Yes, he can. 
Nice speed there from Rusty. That's the one thing he does have. That's his best stat out, stat out of all of them is speed, which makes sense because he's a shortstop. He's supposed to be fast as he's trying to throw this one, and he gets him, gets the runner. Arm strength is a little better there. It was a tough play as well, and he gets him out. Eight points, and the Yankees score one more run but can't come back. They lose this one 3-2. Chris Tillman with the win. CC Sabathia with the loss as Rusty goes one for four in that one. That's all right. After a month of play, the Yankees go 92-70 and 70 after, well, I guess the whole season of play, and they make the playoffs. So they're taking on the Tigers in round one. Here is the playoff brackets, matchups, whatever you want to call them. I hope you guys did enjoy playoff time. ALDS next time against the Tigers. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. Subscribe. Peace.